Bitcoin rising from deeply oversold levels over the past two days, indicating renewed buying after a sharp sell-off. The cryptocurrency faces initial resistance at $40,000, according to Coindesk's Dominic Dantes, which could stall the current price bounce. Joining us now to discuss is Chen Li, CEO at PE and VC firm EB Capital. Welcome, Chen. So we had a major crypto Just market sell-off over the weekend that has mostly recovered. Is there any difference in trading assets activity in Asia compared to North America? Yeah, so um, I think for a lot of these, uh, so China used to be dominated by a lot of Bitcoin miners, and uh, a lot of them have already moved to Singapore or other countries to uh, to kind of try to escape the crypto ban in China. Um, so a lot of them, they have held on to their Bitcoin and, uh, you know, they have the mindset of, okay, so maybe we are entering a new cycle, a potential bear market. So what kind of asset we are going to kind of hold through is all this volatility. So, you know, in the last cycle, we saw that there were a lot of turnovers in, in top 20 to 50 um, tokens or coins, um, but Bitcoin and uh, probably Ethereum remained. So, so I think the chance is that, okay, so the... Bitcoin and Ethereum probably are gonna survive survive the uh, this this bear market and uh, um, you know so those are the assets that are worth holding um, with all these potential sell offs. And, there's, um, yeah, there's a lot of in there I, I want to kind of dissect. So uh, the miners had to leave. Are they having to sell their Bitcoin in order to pay for whatever expenses they have to pay for in that move? And are they selling if they're into altcoins? Do they have to sell their altcoins for BTC because, you know, they need to get off and to on and off on ramps with uh, fiat money. And so Bitcoin is an easier uh, way to do that. So they have to sell their altcoins for Bitcoin and then exit the market if need be through Bitcoin. <laughs> do you see that happening? Yeah, I mean, there definitely has been some consolidating. Um, so a lot of Bitcoin miners or crypto holders have uh, definitely diversified and took the opportunity in the last 12 to 18 months. Uh, to make a lot of profit in altcoins. But as they're seeing these incoming potential bear market, uh, they definitely retreat into Bitcoin or Ethereum. Um, and, uh, you know, but, but I, th I think in China, when it comes to uh, paying all the fees, uh, you know, in terms of moving facilities uh, for China to overseas, I think all those fees are mostly paid in uh, Tether or stable coins instead of Bitcoin. So because, mm -hmm. you know, the, the just the transaction fee is uh, is much lower in terms of using uh, USDT. But it's very interesting that in China, people are mostly using uh, USDT on Chang, on Chang network, instead of Ethereum or BSC. Mm. So uh, because Chang has it provided a lot of incentives to the, to the exchanges to use them. Thing. Well, most miners from China estimated they would come back online in the first quarter of this year, according to Compass Mining. But is that the case? Do you think mining will I ever don't think come back? So. Okay. No, I don't think so. It definitely doesn't come back in China. But uh, the, the Chinese regulation has been a myth to us. Um, this morning, I just saw the news that uh, the Inner Mongolia government, uh, the Inner Mongolia province, uh, governments just uh, announced the order to provide electricity to crypto mining at a higher price, which means that they are potentially lifting the ban on crypto mining in, in that province. Um, so, so it just comes after the probably the most strict, strictest crypto ban in China. So, um, but the problem is that, you know, after all these um, uncertainty on the regulation, I don't think the miners are coming back to China. Um, but also going overseas, they have seen a lot of problems. Uh, they haven't uh, been able to find a lot of reliable mining facilities in North uh, America uh, to host their miners. So uh, mm -hmm. in my circle, when I talk to the top 10, uh, maybe five to six people of the top 10 uh, Bitcoin miners in China, I think on average, they only moved about 10% of their um, previous capacity uh, overseas. Um, so, yeah, it's going to take a long time for them. I think a lot of them 
the mining uh, rigs are still in the uh, warehouse. Oh, wow. The Lunar New Year and the Olympics are coming to China. I wonder how that might impact trading in the region. Um, yeah, so Chinese New Year is usually a time for people to close their books, uh, to pay all the bills. Um, but, uh, but I think, you know, the, the, the migration uh, of miners already happened over the last six months. I don't think that there is going to be a lot of um, selling of Bitcoin or crypto uh, to fill the gap uh, in cash. So, um, um, but on, on the other hand, I think, you know, Chinese New Year's are uh, time to get together. So uh, we believe that's going to be a lot of talk about crypto at a time. So potentially mm -hmm. there may be some more pick up um, uh, in acquiring Bitcoin. Well, you mentioned that most of the equipment, mining equipment is stuck in warehouses now. Do you, do you just not see it coming back online? Is this China mining dead? Yeah, I think uh, in the recent future, and unless the crypto miners saw a more consistency in the policy making that um, the China government allow or even, uh, you know, incentivize, um, you know, Bitcoin mining or if it comes from like the president, like what happened in Russia, um, um, you know, then then I right. think um, don't know if that'll happen, don't know point. if that'll happen anytime soon though, Jen. 